Canadian Mike with Fox Sports Radio, Arian Foster from the Houston Texans. You went undrafted, and you were last year's leading rusher in the NFL. Did you ever think that was going to happen? We all have dreams as a child, and uh, you know that was one of those dreams is to be a, a top elite running back in the NFL. And um, you know, it came to fruition last year. But you know the thing about this league is you have to be consistent. So you know I put it to the wayside. I enjoyed it when it happened, but it's over now. Now, what do the Houston Texans need to do to get over that hump, to get to that next level? I think we just have to develop a mind frame about finishing games. You know, we were in a lot of games last year where, uh, you know, it came down the wire, last drive, last play. So um, I think we just got to finish games. You went to the University of Tennessee. I did. What was the most intimidating college environment, stadium, that you had to enter and play in front of? LSU. LSU. Um, it was right after Katrina, and so it was it was really packed, and they were just really passionate about that game at the time. It took their minds off of what was going on, and it was just so loud I couldn't hear anything. And it was just it was it was a fun place to play. We're in the off season right now. The lockout's going to end soon. It's going to happen eventually. Take me through a typical Arian Foster off season workout. Uh, it depends on which phase you catch me in, but you know now nowadays you, you catch me. Um, Waking up around 7, uh, going to work around around 7.30. Weights and after weights, we'll hit a, 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 a small li uh, lateral and linear drills, uh, keep my footwork straight. Uh, and then, you know, in the afternoon, if I have time to hit some yoga, I'll hit some yoga. And then after, and then the late evening session, I'll go to the track and we'll do some track running. You went to Tennessee. That's a big time school. Do you remember the toughest workout you were ever put through in college? Maybe guys were leaning over garbage cans, throwing up. Yeah, we did it once a year every time I was there, or a couple times a year while I was there. We uh, we ran 31 tens, so and it was just back to back, and you had to make the time. And I mean, it was downright pointless, but <laughs> we did it. You're very active on Twitter. How'd you become so involved, and why are you so involved in Twitter? I didn't like it at first, but um, I think it's a great way for people to kind of express themselves in an open platform. You know, there's a lot of time where fans can never interact with uh, their favorite players. Or, or favorite people, period. And this is just a platform for they, so they can interact with each other and you know really express their thoughts and views on, on just things in the world, and I really enjoy it. You put out an interesting tweet about James Harrison's comments on Roger Goodell. What'd you have to say about that? I was just talking basically to the media and saying, you know, instead of reporting and feeding into the negative energy of it, uh, why don't you report on something good? Because although, h however negative it is, it's only as negative as you make it. So if you mention it once and never bring it up again, then it loses its steam and it, and it has no merit. But and as long as you keep bringing it up and talking about it, you know, it's gonna it's gonna linger. So you know, why, why not why not talk about somebody who's done some good, you know, community work or, or somebody who has helped single mothers across the, the country and things like that who has really positive spins. But you know, that's the society we live in is where, you know, if it. If it bleeds, it leads, and that's just the way it is. I like that. you got to be positive. Now, it, let's say it's Sunday. What is Arian Foster's ideal pregame meal? Because I want to eat your pregame meal before I go on the air. Uh, well, before, before a game, I'll probably, I'll probably take in a little bit of uh, a small portion of spaghetti. You know, uh, I like to put a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on it, and then maybe some fruit and uh, uh, half a Gatorade and some water and drink water throughout the whole day. A lot of great athletes went to the University of Tennessee. Who was your best friend, maybe from, not from football, but maybe from another team at Tennessee? From another team at Tennessee? Um, that's interesting. Pro probably, did you get to know J.P. Aaron Sibia from the I, baseball team? I did. He's with the Blue Jays JP's now. Yeah, I'm a Blue Jays fan. Is he here? No, he's not here. Oh, man. Yeah, I think he's in him. Miami. I seen him but he, wow. he's been playing for the Jays as their starting catcher all year long. I'm a big Blue Jays fan, man. and he's doing well. Well, you tell him I said hello for me, man. I definitely that was, will. That was my, that was my guy, man. Beautiful. Oh, my Arian, have a great day, man.